victories for the top-ranked team in the nation, and Miami will take on Ohio State for a national championship. The BCS standings here tell you the story today. Miami clearly number one, riding a 32-game winning streak. Good afternoon, everybody. With the old quarterback, Gary Danielson, I'm Brad Musburger. Folks, if anything, Miami is not being given enough credit. A 32-game winning streak is unheard of in this era. One of the longest in major college history. Their starting quarterback, Ken Dorsey, is 36-1. They've answered every challenge. For Miami, two, not one, two Heisman Trophy candidates. Ken Dorsey, Willis McGahee, take their choice. The kickoff is next. Last January, the Miami Hurricanes destroyed Nebraska and won a fifth national championship. Now, the Canes are three wins away from another one. The offense is led by quarterback Ken Dorsey, but this offense attacks on many fronts, with running back Willis McGahee leading an explosive attack. On defense, Miami's speed to the ball is relentless. Will Syracuse bring cheer to the Carrier Dome, or will they fall to the eye of the Miami Storm? Started slowly in some games. Going to throw on first down. Wide open is Johnson underneath for a first down. Gary, that was like stealing. They were so soft. Now McGahee's turn. Big hole for him. Great speed. 4-2-8. The fastest he's been timed at. Going for the end zone. Touchdown, Miami. A 61-yard bolt from the blue. The one-two punch hit Syracuse. A 19-yard pass from Dorsey. Then a 61-yard explosion from McGahee, his 20th rushing touchdown this year. Last time it was play-action pass. This time it looks like play-action pass. Those heads go up. Zone blocking inside. Great block. McGahee peeks outside, then goes inside. And you mentioned it, speed is too much when he gets going. 7-0 as Seavers tacks on the extra point. Talk about a start for the number one team in the country. Syracuse was hoping to avoid just this, but the Canes are rolling again. And here, of course, John, also seven, Dorsey. Parrish for the first down to the 41-yard line. Safety blitz. And on first down, Reyes going nowhere is thrown down by McDougal. That's Jerome McDougal from Pompano Beach, one of the seniors in that defensive front. Indeed, to get seven. Noons will try it in the air. Nobody is open. Down with the sack, and it's fourth down. D.J. Williams, number 17, on second down, and they will. They had four wide receivers. Dorsey's got a man wide open. It's Johnson into Syracuse territory at the 48-yard line. Andre Johnson, Kevin Beard has been lost for the season, a wide receiver with an injury against Pittsburgh. Dorsey goes up, again, and there's the man who's filling in, Jason Gethers. He was, but Brock Berlin figures to be their starter all the way. The end of the round, wide open. Out of bounds after an 11-yard gain is Parrish. And yet Winslow may be their best player, too. You'll get it. Day. Touchdown! Sands, the senior from Miami's Carroll City High School for 23 yards. Just carves it up. Two wins away from going back to the national championship. Looks back, had daylight with Parrish. First down, a 14-yard gain for Mr. Dorsey. Gary? He even looks off on a hitch. When you look at this guy, I mean, he's not going to wow you with his arm, but the mind game, my, my old buddy Bernie Kosar, great vision, great anticipation, his moxie of being tough out there, leadership, and he performs in the clutch. And what I like him is defense makes the movies like a chess master. He's always two moves ahead of you. You better know what you're doing when you're disguising defenses because he's seen it all. He went in big. Play fake. Dorsey. Fires one. Johnson's got it on the move. 
inside the 25 yard line. Second down. Steps up, fires the tire to the four yard line, and Gaither's made the catch inside the five yard line. Three wide. Dorsey to throw. Wings it. Touchdown, Johnson. Number five coming across, and Mr. Dorsey stays perfect. A four catches. 89 yards, and this touchdown as he breaks free, and Dorsey rifles it. Time out. Draw play, and Miami. Oh, are you kidding me? They were almost there before the football was handed off. DJ Williams, Vince Wilfork, they just met at the running back, and there was no chance. Gets no pressure, wide open receiver, and there's Winslow's first reception of the football game. Kellen Winslow, son of the NFL Hall of Famer. We've got Winslow again for the first down. He bails him out. Winslow to the 26 yard line before he's forced out of bounds by Steve Gregory. Well, they had to replace the best tight end in college football last year in Jeremy Shockey, and they might have done it with a guy just as athletic as him in Winslow. He's a wide receiver speed, 230 pounds, and uh, catches anything near him. <laughs> now he needs this one to keep this drive going. Got it underneath to Winslow. First down, Miami. The score of the game for the Canes. Going deep, got Johnson. 15, 10, short of the end zone and out of bounds at the two yard line. Number 11, 68 more yards. Folks, he has already thrown for over 300 yards. But he's not a Heisman candidate, right? I forgot. You've well, got to be kidding. There's a, there's a lot of people that are a little bit mean-spirited about Ken Dorsey, if you ask me. All the guy does is uh, go to school, throw passes, get his team to work hard, watch his film, shows up every day in practice and works his guys and can throw a beautiful ball like that. And people don't understand what it's like to play quarterback on a streak. You've got to keep your team involved every week, every practice, and he's a great leader. Might be his best attribute. That was Hill, the redshirt freshman from Sunrise, Florida. It was his turn for the touchdown. So the young man bangs into the end zone. And the number one team in the nation is well on its way to Tempe. After this one, there's a game, but it's at home against Virginia Tech. Time out. John down there. Yep. Uh, there's a pitch now to Rhodes. And uh, he will not get away. From number 95, Jerome McDougall from uh, from Pompano Beach. You know, on third downs, they are four of six. Four of six here today. Make it five of seven on that beautiful catch by Johnson as Dorsey led him beautifully for 24 more yards. Brent, watch the eyes and the understanding of a pass offense that Ken Dorsey brings. You talk about a quarterback looking one direction and then coming back the other direction. You, and then the throw is perfectly on target and Andre Johnson got back up and pointed to Dorsey and Dorsey pointed to Johnson and said, Man, if it would only be this easy next year when we're playing in the NFL, this would be a lot of fun. That caused them to take a timeout again. And uh, near midfield, here's McGahee picking his daylight and taking off, folks. Goodbye. Hello, end zone. Oh, yeah. A first rounder for sure. That's 51 more yards, 61 earlier. Folks, that's 4 2 8. Oh, what? my. Do you remember last week against yards Pittsburgh? Yards. <laughs> yeah, same play. Exactly the same play. Nice patience. Watch him wait. Safety goes down to make it an eight-man front. Watch McGay. He come to his right, stays with it, stays with it. Bang. Gone. And that's what speed, size, great vision, and patience does. And Five. Now Nunes with the option. Here's Tyree again. And this time he's given some yards back. Oh, 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 
So he's a little bit shorter of 100 is Roger McIntosh, the redshirt freshman, comes up. And Noons sacked at midfield by Williams. Andrew Williams, the senior from Tampa. Forgetting that there are two ends to a pass play. <laughs> <laughs> Banging his way solidly for a first down. And Drew asked the family, Tyler Tide. On the slant, Sands. And uh, his spot appears to give them a first down. Napshaw ready again. The fake. Punt. Capshaw. They showed to it. Taylor for 47 yards and uh, wasn't called from the bench. Oh, I'll tell you. I, no, no, they I, showed it the play before on the offsides, and Capshaw went over to Taylor and said, Man, I'm going to throw it to you. They just said, You know, Capshaw, if you come after us, I'm going to throw it. And they <laughs> touchdown. Yards <laughs> for, uh, for the touchdown. I know. The fans are booing Miami over on the sideline, but I'm sure that Larry Coker, the first thing he will do will be go over to see Coach Pasqualoni. Look at that and pass. Apologize. <laughs> it's a Billy Kilmer <laughs> wounded duck special. And Taylor, I believe he's the young man on the reverse for the on the punt return last week. As <laughs> great line coach tier two, Art Keo does a great yes, job. He does. They make those guys fighters and competitors and He's been the one standard in the stadium. Here's the interception. This could be an easy touchdown. Sykes, the junior from Miami's Pace High School. When Nunes is down, he got just hit right as he let that ball go. Troy Nunes is just withering his pain. Looks like his left knee is holding. That's why that ball fluttered out and was just like catching a punt for the Miami safety. I told you, they kept their two starting safeties in because they did not want to give up points. Here comes Larry Coker, and the first person he's headed for is Paul Pasqualoni. And the second statement's going to be about the fake punt. And Let's go down to Jack Aru, Jack. Well, Coach, congratulations. But first, let me ask you about the fake punt. Did that come from the sidelines, or was that freelance? Well, we had we had a call where the, the flyers, uh, the flyers came in, and we, we couldn't protect it. We got a man short. Basically, it was an automatic, and we, we we really regret that. Probably shouldn't have done that, but but it wasn't a call from the sidelines. It was a, it was a. You are down to one final game before you can get your ticket punched to the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl. Well, yes, it is. This is a huge win for us today, and, and obviously we have one more. And I thought we played awfully hard, played pretty well for the most part today, and we've got to do the same. We've got a very tough Virginia Tech team coming, but we are in the Orange Bowl next week. Congratulations, Coach, All and right, thanks. Jack, thank you. Well, there you have it. The Miami Hurricanes are one victory away from going to the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl and playing Ohio State. 49-7, the Canes roll 33 in a row. John Saunders and Terry Bowden at Times Square Stadium. They're next. So long, everybody.